Hi, this is Ed Baig with USA Today. I'm here at HP's big event in New York City with Steve Nigro, who runs printing for HP. And you've made some announcements with 3D printing. Now, a lot of us hear about 3D printing. Tell us the significance of what you've got behind me. Yeah, so today we introduced a new 3D printing technology called Multi-Jet Fusion. And what it does is it really is a breakthrough in 3D printing. In the sense what that makes it so well, it uh, it uh, it's ten times faster than any other 3D printing technology on the market today. It gives you incredible quality in terms of both uh, robustness of the parts, but also the precision of the part that you can create. And it's going to allow a much lower car uh, lower cost part to be constructed. So it gives you that combination of speed, quality, and low cost. Now, this is a rather big machine behind me. This is not a home printer, clearly. Well, no, it's not a home printer unless you have a really large room that you can put it in. But it's really designed for what we call central production. And so where you'll see that, it will be in enterprises. You might see it in retail and certainly service providers. Uh, companies like Shapeways, who was at the event, they actually provide 3D printing parts to uh, consumers. Now, what, talk about, 3D printing is one of those things people are starting to hear a lot about. Again, it's not a consumer product per se, although there are some inexpensive 3D printers out there. And does HP actually have designs for the home market with 3D printing? Well, what we want to do is, uh, basically, customers are going to have choice. But with this uh, technology, multi-jet fusion, because of the speed and the low cost, we think uh, the consumer will have a choice. They'll be able to produce that 3D printed part on a, let's say, a device that they own, or they'll actually be able to go to some sort of web service, and they'll actually be able to order it online. Now, the thing you'll be able to get when you order it online, you're going to be able to get parts that are going to be much higher quality and much more sophisticated. So ultimately for the consumer, they're going to be able to get a better, more compelling, probably lower cost, 3D printed part by actually going online and ordering it or going into the retailer because you're able to have a more sophisticated uh, device creating that part. Now, can you explain in very simple layman's terms how this actually works? Well, yeah, to make it really simple, it's, it's really fast and it's high quality, but uh, we leverage our inkjet technology and we're uh, basically using what we call kind of a fusing agent on there that we're able to basically jet to find the image on a bed of material, get an energy source, basically fuse it and build up the product layer by layer, but because of the speed at which we can do it, we can just rapidly build these layers up in a way that you can construct products in, uh, in times that have not been possible before. Now you say low cost, what, what are we talking about? How, how expensive is this thing? Well, we're not releasing uh, pricing today because uh, the product isn't ready to ship. 2016, I gather. Uh, 2016 is what will be available to the general public. But in terms of cost, what we will say is the product cost itself, relative to the ink class compares, will be a lower cost, number one. And number two, the actual running cost, or the cost to produce a part, will also be much lower than any of the solutions on the market today. And will it be able to actually print something that today you cannot print? Oh, um, we have a roadmap. Uh, certainly, what it can print today, that probably is not doable is actually taking advantage of the precision and resolution. So there's going to be sorts of uh, a sophisticated 3D parts with details, and I would encourage you to go around and look at some of the samples. We're printing things that you cannot print because of the, the fine details that you're unable to actually construct with other 3D printing technologies. All right, Steve, so show us a couple of things you can actually print with this thing. Okay, well, the first one, uh, is this dinosaur skull, which is we like... We all need a dinosaur skull, we, well, especially you around know, Halloween. Yeah, exactly. You can do any of this, but this is like very cool and a lot of fine details. The other one, this is actually a future capability, color. And really, you cannot print color parts today with strengths and certainly with this fine level of detail. So this is like pretty incredible. Uh, and uh, there's just so many applications, whether it's for kind of uh, architectural or certainly uh, you can imagine for your kids. How long did it take to print something like these? Well, these will be printed, let's say, in this sort of orientation. This will probably take about 15 minutes to produce. Okay. And if you kind of think about anybody who has a desktop uh, 3D printer, uh, there's really not a lot you can produce in 15 minutes. Great. Well, Steve from HP, I'm Ed Baig from USA Today.